Alid for, for us was an unknown. Uh, Alid is somebody that's self-radicalised himself. Uh, he's become more and more radical on the back of what happened in Gaza on the 7th of October. Uh, and this furthered his extreme views to the point that he decided to go out that day and attack people based on uh, what he'd been seeing uh, happening in the Israeli-Gaza conflict. He attacked Mr Nuri in his bedroom based on the fact that there had been some friction between them earlier, but that was ostensibly about he didn't like Mr Nuri's religion. He's then gone out onto the streets of Hartlepool and Mr Carney was out for an early morning walk, just happened to cross his path. Uh, and he violently attacked Mr Carney with uh, devastating consequences. Mr Carney lost his life. Uh, and then Alid continued down the street looking for further victims. And had it not been for the prompt response of Cleveland police, I'm sure we would have had more fatalities that day. Uh, Alid, when he was arrested, uh, made many comments around the conflict in Gaza and that he was attacking people on the basis of that. Alid had basically become rad far more radicalised because of what he'd seen in the media and self-radicalised self himself from those media uh, in, uh, excerpts watching what was happening in that conflict zone. So, you use the phrase self-radicalisation. Um, what, what, what kind of format would that take? And have you, have you got any evidence whatsoever that there was anyone else involved in his radicalisation? There's absolutely no suggestion that there was anybody else involved in his radicalisation. Our investigation was looking at what is in the background to Alid, and it's clear that he was looking at lots and lots of online footage of what was happening in Gaza, and that was furthering his beliefs, his extremist views around what was happening in, 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 in Gaza. And he took that as a, uh, a, a reason to then go out and attack innocent people in Hartlepool uh, as a justification. And Mr Carney... I mean, it's a, it's a terrible phrase in the wrong place at the wrong time. Absolutely. But essentially that's what happened, wasn't it? There was no not no in, there was no, no reason to attack him. Mr Carney, 70-year-old man, out for an early morning walk in Hartlepool, minding his own business. He had had no con confrontation with Alid. He just happened to cross him at the wrong point in time. Mr Carney was not in a position to defend himself and Alid carried out a horrific violent attack upon him.